Hi guys, welcome to this tutorial on how to migrate your tokens to the Binance Smart Chain. I'm going to show you the easiest and cheapest way to do it. So it's like this. Um, you, this I'm going to give you the Matic example because it's going to be really similar. I don't have a link to the bridge yet for Binance to Ethereum. I don't even know if it exists. Um, but this is one way to do it okay you'll need to sign to link your address to the site in question in this case it's this one you'll go to apps and to bridge you're, you're good to go you'll just press your balance the coin that you want you might need to paste uh, a contract here in case the coin isn't available uh, since this is from Ethereum it's all good but if you want to send if you want to send to um, a token that you don't have available here yet let's say chain for example as you can see we got two contracts this is one on ERC20 on the Ethereum mainnet and this is the one on Matic mainnet see they're different um, on Matic you will need to copy this one and you'd be pasting them like over here this says no tokens because it's already added see I already have it if I type in chain games here here you are so um, since we're using Ethereum check it out here we'll be uh, paying high Ethereum gas fees like $60 always use POS bridge and once you migrate like from Ethereum into Matic you can then use the quick swap interface um, this is a warning that it can be fake not that it is but it can be and make sure to verify the contract here you'll see these little three dots this is to abbreviate um, this is the last three numbers and the first ones you can go to you see, D55509, D55509, okay, checks out, I understand, continue, and you won't see your address here, you either press here to switch thematic, or you can just select your previously imported custom RPC for Matic mainnet, I have a tutorial that also explains this, um, it has the info on how to add the custom RPC. You'll show Matic mainnet and you're good to go. Um, it might take a little while to load the tokens. Sometimes it takes quite a while. You might need to re refresh the page. So now you're good to go. See, I can switch whatever I want here. And the fees will be like 0 0.0003 cents. Okay, so this is practically free. This is so, but so low that uh, Chain Games itself pays for your gaming fees since they're so low okay so that's that so how to use it on quick swap um, you'll have the bridge the bridge will cost you about 50 60 dollars because it will be uh, interacting with ethereum so that's not the best way to do it the best way to do it is you go over here to Binance they already have an integrated bridge per se they, they convert your stuff for you you'll press deposit and get the ERC20 guys pay special attention to this screen this screen might make you lose all your funds if you don't pay attention what you're going to send here is the regular Ethereum so ERC20 okay pay special attention to this here you go to Ethereum mainnet you got your Ethereum. If you press send and paste Binance's, um, your account's Binance's, in Binance's uh, Ethereum address, even if you choose the fastest one, and this is um, three hours in the afternoon, uh, this is one of the most expensive times of the day, you'll still see that it's $5.60. Okay, so this is nothing close to $60 from contract interactions because you'll just be transfers just transferring so 
maximum Ethereum or how much you want to send, you'll press next and a little while later uh, it'll show up here on your balance. Like, I don't know man, five minutes, depends. It'll show up here on your balance. And what you can do is either trade it for BNB. Okay, they don't have BNB right there. So, uh, BNB ETH. Okay, you select it. Sorry, I chose USDT. No, it's BNB ETH. Where is that motherfucker? Say what? Can't find a pair. Okay, Ethereum, BNB. Yeah, there you go. So right here you'll choose like this one, Just press it, and you'll go, you'll slide this all the way up here and buy BNB. Uh, once it's filled, you'll go to Fiat and Spot Wallet, where your stuff is, your, your funds. And you'll press in the BNB withdraw. Keep in mind to select uh, BEP20, BSC, Binance Smart Chain, not Binance Chain. This is a totally different network, you'll lose all your funds. You'll paste your BNB address, which is exactly the same from where you sent the um, Ethereum. You'll press copy, you'll press paste, you'll see that the, um, the fee is totally insignificant. You can also do this if you just want to not do the trade. You can just, you've deposited Ethereum here and you can just withdraw and you'll instead of ethereum the rc20 which you sent here because you see 17 dollars uh 23 cents this is how much you pay so bsc uh to bridge this money to to the cent to, to be able to use your ethereum on pancake swap you'll just need to pay like uh five dollars total that's it uh, then you'll press the maximum, you'll submit, you'll do the 2FA confirmation and it will shortly appear here on your Binance Smart Chain. You'll see it around here somewhere, you'll go to PancakeSwap, you'll go here and you'll have to paste the contract for, let's say, let's, let's imagine this was Chain Games, it will be here on... Um, as you can see now, you got here the Polygon, the Matic, and the Ethereum version of Chain Games. It'll also have BSC, the Binance Smart Chain. For now, I'm just going to use this example for um, Safe BTC. So you'll copy it, you'll go here, and where you select your token, you press, you paste the contract. It'll show up Chain from Chain Games here, and you'll press Add. So you'll always have it on your pancake swap unless you change your browser or if you like clean your cache and cookies something like that if you format your computer whatever you'll have to do this again and add it so here you'll have the um the token you have and the one that you want to buy so one thing that i'm not sure is going to happen or not is the slippage pancake swap has an issue with slippage some tokens so if you choose like half 0.5 percent a token like this one for example say a fair moon you'll try to swap and it'll give you this error insufficient output amount uh and the first thing you think is that the token is messed up or that it has some kind of issue you'll just press dismiss and you will play around you'll try one percent two percent three percent until you reach an amount that it actually allows. I don't know if this is going to happen with chain games. I'll have to wait and see. So you'll confirm swap and you'll see that it opens up the MetaMask notification. You'll confirm and you're good to go. It's swapped. You got your chain on BSC. Now, as for BSC itself, I will leave this information in the description of the video, but you'll need to add you'll need to add a uh, Binance uh, custom RPC see this will show up here you will copy and paste this 
if you got issues and you press the wrong the, the wrong place it's all gone see your work is gone what you can do is press these little, little three dots expand view and here you can work in peace custom rpc you'll press the this information you'll press uh, you'll copy and paste this information right here and as you can see you can confirm it this is my binance smart chain info and you'll press save or import or whatever and you're good to go you got your binance smart chain on the metamask and you can use it to buy and sell chain on pegex swap that's it guys sorry for the noise my neighbor's doing construction work uh if you guys have any questions or need any help just feel free to let me know in the comments i'm always glad to help be good guys have fun